Four hundred. It's over four hundred dollars for that one. Leaf lethal protector. Okay, that's the very first venom. Issue one. didn't work but it does we got uh sega cd and sega genesis going so that is pretty epic uh ran into a guy got the switch pro controller and a switch dock with all the cords and everything i tested it with bayonetta it reads the games 90 bucks can't beat that i thank you yeah, Those are fucking pins up there. Let me see. You want a dark one? It's 37. And a dark one. I'm still looking at your carnage and your venom pops. Oh, those are just two. That's so awesome. So again, he understands my circumstances, which I appreciate him. I'm giving him 220 for everything here, and that it does include the Silent Hill games. Uh, thank you very much. You got a good, you got a good time. On so he brought me over here, and it's his neighbor is getting rid of a 360 and some games. Nice little stack, 60 bucks for everything. So I'm gonna take it. Wow. Yeah. So huge haul. So I'm like getting like the loose discs ready to go take into GameStop. I got a couple systems over there too. Um, nice cool little Game Boy Pocket I'm gonna clean up. It works, PS2 works. The PS3, I have two bulky ones already so I'm just gonna trade it in. There's a 360 over there I'm gonna trade in. And then all these discs here I'm gonna trade in. I'll take you guys on that adventure. And just some stuff that really isn't worth much except for that Spyro over there. Um, and the Spider-Man too, but pretty epic score here let's see odd world abe's exodus nightmarish creatures 2 blood omen legacy of kane shadow man fear effect these are all complete you want to hack the ps1 alien resurrection that's complete too uh resident evil 2 tomb raider chronicles gunfighter the legend of jesse james uh xena warrior princess tiny T uh, tiny tank Die Hard trilogy army men world war team assault got Ge uh, gex 3 Deep Cover Gecko, uh, Tomb Raider, Crash Warp. These are all complete. Thunderstrike, Kaya, Oni, Metal Gear Solid 3 Substance, Final Fantasy 12, Metal Gear Solid 2. Let's go up here. Persona 4, both discs are in there. Shadow Man 2, um, Soul Raver 2, Legacy of Cain, Defiance, Slip Heed, The Lost Planet, uh, Silent Hill 3, Missing the Music Disc but is in clean, complete shape. Silent Hill 2 is probably like the closest to what I used to own. I used to own Silent Hill 2 and it was in immaculate condition. Um, now I got it again and it's, this one's in immaculate condition. Uh, Guitar Hero, Blood Omen 2, World Destruction League, Star Ocean, Dark Cloud, God of War, Resident Evil Code Veronica, and Jax 2. Uh, Wing of War, hella complete, goes for about 100. Uh, WrestleMania, the arcade game. Altered Beast and NBA basketball. It was kind of weird because I went next door to his neighbor and his neighbor had video game stuff. And that's where I got the Game Boy Pocket, the 360 and all these games right here. That cost me 60. Uh, for all this, I paid 220. The PS3 over there, All he also gave me a couple action figures to give to Eli and Zandon. So that's really cool, um, but yeah. 
awesome haul. I don't know. Yeah, oh yeah, and then the loose Silent Hill one. So I mean, pretty epic, pretty epic. Stay tuned. I'm gonna take you guys with me to GameStop and see what we're gonna get. Oh, there's a 360 right there. Still going through this, still going through it. Um, more combats in there, it's complete too. Uh, this I did not have, so I'm gonna be adding this in. This was part of the lot as well. This is what I got together so far. We got two systems I'm about to take into GameStop. This whole stack of games, but I'm gonna go through and see if there's any high dollar titles that need to be resurfaced. This is the end result after cleaning everything and selecting everything that's worth a lot. All right here, uh, that web browser, I have a dream, Dreamcast I wanna bundle it with. Um, these here, if I can find, I know I already have Psychonauts, but if I can find the cases to these, I'll end up keeping them. I've been looking for The Suffering. It's probably one of the best horror games released on that generation. Suffering and the Ties That Bind, which is the second one. Depending on how you beat the first one, the second one starts off good or bad. Uh, not too many games did that. I think it was Metal Gear Solid. One that did that with Psycho Mantis, it read your memory card. So it does the same thing. Anything left on the memory of the Xbox will be you know, used in the second game. Pretty cool. If you guys haven't checked out The Suffering, then I would, but overall, we got some good stuff. This is, this whole thing is filled up with games, but this is gonna be what I'm trading in. Again, the end result was what? 220 plus 60 would be 280. So I paid 280 for everything here. And I'm gonna trade all that in and see what I'm gonna get in store credit. Trading in everything, the systems. And I got 142, 45 in store credit. Epic, 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 epic. Oh crap, was it gonna be anything anyway? It says Hot Wheels, but they, they gave me Darkest of Days. I guess it was marked as Hot Wheels. I don't know what happened there, but I got it cheap. So yeah, that's like an $80 game right there. He brought the hat. <laughs> I can't complain about that. RJ, C and I are going out again. He brought me a nice little goodie. We're doing a little trade. If you guys don't know, Metal Gear Solid 3D on the 3DS has gone up. Value. And we're trading for four games. Sly, Asian owned, Oni. Asian owned, Sly 2, and Metal Gear Substance Asian owned, yeah. so. Minty Fresh is our yeah. favorite YouTuber to say. I got this for him and he just paid me back for it. Actually, he gave me 10 extra dollars of what I paid for this, so. You so, a finder's fee. Yeah, a little finder's fee and. <laughs> so yeah, went to this yard sale here, scored five bucks for everything. We got some cool little figurines too. Maybe they'll sell, maybe Eli will play with them, who knows. Huh? Can't complain about that. Cannot complain about that. Let's see if she comes out with anything else. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay. Running deer, right? Yeah. Running deer. So let's grab those for 10 bucks. Cool, cool, cool. Unfortunately, a lot of the stuff that we got According to RJC, it's just fluff. I mean, it ain't according to me, it's according to the market. A lot of the stuff that we got is crap, so we're just kind of going through and seeing what we can uh, keep for the collection and as well as maybe throw into GameStop, maybe do a bundle deal. We're here at Main Street Pond and they had the killer clowns from outer space. Pretty awesome. That's so cool. They have the real replicas yeah. of the Puppet Master's puppets. Yeah, so awesome. Fortunately, no games. Game stop time. True rule is 100. So how does that count? Can't complain about that. Wait, I can complain about that. If you can turn this crap into gold, you gotta let me know how you how much you got, man. Like, Dude, you if you get more than 50 bucks for this box, that's incredible. All right, so I'm going to be saying goodbye to RJC Media, thanking him again for another successful little yard sale adventure. Of thank you too, man. Hey, awesome, man. I appreciate you very much. Of course. Boom. All right, Cody. I mean, all right, dude, man. I appreciate you, and thank you again.
All right, so I went back to the pop dude's house and I didn't get any footage over there because, you know, I recorded over there a lot already. But I ended up getting all this. Um, and these, I paid $84. Uh, the dude's been hooking me up, so I figured I'd overpay a little bit. Maybe people think I didn't or did, but doesn't matter to me. This is Silent Hill Homecoming with no case, um, but pretty cool. You know, the, I tested the NES over there. He doesn't have a power cord for it. He let me use his personal. Um, it did work. It looks like it's in good shape. So, and we tested out a couple of these games over here. So it was cool. Cool. These are just empty boxes that he had, which I don't mind taking off his hands. Maybe they make me worth something. Who knows? Um, Hexen and NHL. Um, probably the best thing out of the lot is this. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, also got a uh, Game Boy that did not power on. And I think something's wrong with the screen, but I can always list this as parts or something. So pretty cool, pretty cool. And then this Game Boy does work. It's a Game Boy Pocket. So that's pretty cool as well. Hopefully we get some good gear. So far, eighty bucks, pretty good. The offer up deal going down twenty seven dollars, twenty six in cash and four quarters for Mario Kart on the Wii, Carnival Games on the Wii, and Resident Evil Four Remake on the PlayStation Four. Not a bad deal for $27. That pretty much covers it right here. So pretty much got Resident Evil 4 for free and this a bundler for another Wii I come across, but awesome. So it's crazy because this is like my third Paper Mario. And you can see I got crap for some of the games I traded in, but you know, they're trash anyway. So oh, I got $21 with a refurbished fee of 11 bucks, which is crazy, but still the controller didn't work. So the 2180 I got for that. The Street Fighter, they got a nine, uh, $10 boost with my Pro, uh, so I ended up coming up to 26 And then Need for Speed Hot Pursuit on the Switch got a $12 promo, and I ended up getting 26 And that is like a special promo. Thanks to Gak Cognac for letting me know about that, because I had no idea. You traded two hot titles that they're looking for, and you get 50 towards Paper Mario. I got one yesterday. I also picked up my pre-order, and then I got one today. So the Outlawed one brought me some goodies. He pulled, paid a total of $90, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to be giving the Outlaw one $100. It's not that much of a difference, but he understands. He's hooking it up. That's what friends are for, but look at that. Mm -hmm. Right off the bat. Spider-Man 2. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So, I mean, overall, I think there's well over $100 worth of stuff here. So I appreciate you, the outlawed one. Thank and you. with all this wonderful stuff, I'm thinking, because I got these PSP games here. I don't have Blood Bowl, so I'm going to be keeping that. It doesn't have the Manny, but I don't really care as long as it has the case. Uh, Super Mario Party Superstars, I might be keeping to double up with uh, Z-Man. We can play two-player. And then these two Switch games, this 3DS game I'm going to be getting rid of. Um, Got some backs to Super Bowl Tech in the front. We got all those. Those could be traded in. And then, um, I don't know where, where did Spider-Man go? And then you guys saw that Spider-Man too. Right? Yeah. After everything's been cleaned up, this is what we got here. And I already took out the items I'm keeping, which is just two games. Everything's complete and in mint condition. Sports games, obviously, blah. I took the God of War Saga and replaced my three and one and two with that. PS1, this mint condition PS2 silver controller. A wired PS4 controller. I actually have never seen this before. This is like a converter. It's an Xbox end. And it has a PlayStation 2 in from, I don't know. Let me think about it. What's there to think about? Come on, man. We'll just do it. Make it our New Year's resolution and shit.
I'm not I'm collecting. Kicking, and I want you to do it. Just let me think about it. It's a three hundred dollar PlayStation Slim at a remarkable price. Five hundred dollars can't beat that. It's a very, very fast paced action. If you guys haven't played Ghost Runner 2, I highly suggest it. There also is Ghost Runner 1. Um, probably can get it cheaper, but I have a feeling that this game is going to be hard to find physically eventually in time. But if you guys haven't played this, PlayStation Plus had it for free for last month. So hopefully you guys snagged it and you guys will be able to play it. But incredible game. Um, it was very, very addicting. It has like some Mirror's Edge elements in it too. So pretty epic. can say is this is like the first time this is a double so this is like the first time out of all my videos that i haven't added a current gen game i don't count these even though it's like not really current gen but it is um but this is everything i'm going to be adding um i do have a sealed fear this is going to take the place of that and then i'm going to put that in my glass case the sealed one there's days being added in all these ps3 games are going to be added in so these ps4 games ghost all the way to subnautica below zero my dad um pretty much wasn't playing them so he brought them back he brought a lot more but uh, i already had some of the other ones but uh, Ghost of Tsushima on PS4 I did not have um, the control. I have like the collector's edition right there, but I don't have the ultimate edition. So that's a different variant I'm gonna keep. Um, so all those, um, all the way up to Resident Evil 4, I'm gonna keep. Resident Evil 4 was an offer up deal. I got it for $26 plus a few other games. I think you saw that. Blood Bowl, I'm gonna be keeping. Uh, Medal of Honor Heroes, I'm gonna be keeping. This is gonna be a double added into my son's uh, um, double games i don't know if this is online if it's not then i'm probably end up getting rid of it and then a uh, big one here metal gear solid 3d and then that last score um that the outlaw brought to me pretty epic um, there's some dirt in between here but i can clean that up um, i decided to keep this pretty clean ps3 this is the second ps3 i have and i'm gonna add in it is a little dirty so who knows what i'll do with this i might keep it i might not but as you can see, I got a white one here. So, be cool to add it into the kids' room so they can play casually if they want. And uh, yeah, and then Guardians of the Galaxy, that's a 4K movie I did not have, part three. Uh, I haven't even seen this yet. I've only seen the first and second one. So, um, good scores this week. I don't know, I might be taking a little break for a few, like a week or two or something like that, making videos. I got a, um, a friend coming out from Hawaii we might actually um, be doing some videos together. I don't know, but he's going to be staying here for like a week or two. So cool. Catch you guys on the next one.
Ward's garage is closed. These things take time. Ward's garage access is only granted to convention. Necessities. Why is, Why is everything, everything such, such retro, retro, you guys, huh? huh? I'm sitting here, Renita, helping you. You're giving me bullshit, bullshit about retro, retro gaming. Necessities? It it's is a retro gaming. Necessity for me to get. Go see Iowa Retro Gaming Dad. Come on, collect somebody. somebody.